Hi guys, welcome to number X. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to factor the polynomial x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus xy minus yz minus zx. Before factoring this polynomial, let us quickly find discriminant. We have find discriminant of this expression which is equal to negative 3 times y plus z whole square. Of course, discriminant is less than 0. And we already know that when discriminant is less than 0, then polynomial will not have any real roots. We will use properties of cube root of unity to factor this polynomial where 1 omega and omega squared are cube root of unity. We already know that sum of cube root of unities is equal to 0 okay and cube of omega is equal to 1 we also know that omega to the fourth power is equal to omega upon multiplying xy on both side of this equation we will get xy plus xy omega plus xy omega squared is equal to 0 from here we can easily find the value of negative xy which is equal to xy omega plus xy omega squared. Similarly, we can find value of negative yz and negative zx. We can replace the value of negative xy by this expression and negative yz by this expression and negative zx by this expression. So, we will have x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus xy omega plus xy omega squared plus yz omega plus yz omega squared plus zx omega plus zx omega squared. In this expression, we can replace y squared by y squared times y cube because y cube is equal to 1 and z squared can be replaced by z squared times omega cube and yz omega can be replaced by yz times omega to the fourth power because omega to the fourth power is equal to omega. Now we will regroup the terms to take common factor which is as follows x squared plus xy omega plus zx omega squared plus y squared omega cube plus xy omega squared plus yz omega to the fourth power plus z squared times omega cube plus yz omega squared plus zx omega. Now we can take common factor x from this term and we will get x times x plus y omega plus z omega squared and from these three terms we can take y omega squared as common factor and we will get y omega squared times y omega plus x plus z omega squared and from these three terms we can take common factor z omega and we are left with z omega times z omega squared plus y omega plus x. Okay. Now we can clearly observe that these three expressions are same. Okay. So we can take common factor as x plus y omega plus z omega squared and we are left with x plus y omega squared plus z omega. So this is the factor for this polynomial. We can write this factor in other form also by multiplying omega cube we can split omega cube as omega times omega square and when we multiply omega by this expression we will get omega x plus y omega square plus z and upon multiplying omega squared by this expression we will get x omega square plus y omega plus z. You can use any form of the factor for this polynomial. By end of this we have finished this lecture. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel number X and hit the like button. You can share this video to other person and provide your valuable feedback in the comment box. So thanks for watching and I am looking forward to see you in the next lecture.